Hey, welcome back to Saturday Morning Gaming. Thank you for staying tuned. This is Oxen Free Part 4. Whoa! Here we go. So, it's the Parks and Facilities Building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah. I just hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. up there what are you doing she's alive you you're alive man I've never been so happy to see you in my life Clarissa what Alex Christ what's wrong with her Clarissa can you can you hear me oh god not again uh, I hate when this happens Alex uh, please can you just I don't know what you can do but can you just do something please just try anything like uh, Clarissa this happened to Jonas too. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's like when they want to talk or something. Oh uh, God, Clarissa, can you, can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please somehow. Clarissa, can you come down? Uh, she just looks awful. You think you can control me? Clarissa, I'm I'm trying to help you. This is this Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others, Ren and Nona. They've gone through this. Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Man, no, no. What was all that about? I don't know. Clarissa, are you alright? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and- Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos, she's- a It was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my God. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you- It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. You weren't there. 
No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She is- Seriously, enough. Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I- I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you- All the outs in free. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my... It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or like hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna, okay, here. Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control, like, like ghosts or the army, or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, Know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. 
You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh... <laughs> Are you, like, faking it, or... Pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean, I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh... Totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. So I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are... Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. 
stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... Was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? Maybe it was... Uh, maybe it was an illusion or something? Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like a, a real thing. What'd you see? What was it like? And what happened basically? Clarissa was there too. It wasn't just me. It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to see him again. Uh, are you doing okay? Something like that. I don't know if I'd like it. No, it was... It was good to see him. I'm treating it like a... a temporary gift. That's all. Okay. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to, uh, do the whole thing. Some... <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff? And we can't find Clarissa, so... She pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Clarissa will be fine. She's... She hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you gonna try the gate thing, or...? If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. I guess the radio will open this, somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge! That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah. There's something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Doo? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not gonna be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. Oh. Oh, it's like a... it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? 
Um, plan B was for- Okay, well, I mean, if the boat plan doesn't work, there's still a big house, like, right there, and it probably has a phone. We can just call somebody to pick us up. That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? Everyone, just keep your distance. What? Why? It's Clarissa. Yes, dear. Why? I'm as harmless as a June bug. Something's... something's wrong with you. I don't know what, but... But I don't know, it's like you're just not on our side. Not on your side? What, I I yell at you a little bit and suddenly I'm a Russian spy now? Stuff happened, it happens, it's fine. It's barely worth mentioning now. Fine, whatever, I don't care anymore. Oh, now she doesn't care. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just, everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at- Fine, okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know what? Better than friggin' ever. I feel like I've never stopped winning since we landed. Ugh. Great. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping, by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Probably just tidy. It's not like the Ark of the Covenants in here. Hey, you never know. She was old enough. Have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Hey, that was awesome free part four. Really glad you off Steam. I'm Phil from Saturday Morning Gaming. Stay tuned.